Because you know how synaptic transmission takes place, you can now predict the effects of many types of drugs. For instance, what happens when neurotransmitters are increased or decreased at the neuromuscular junction. So basically, drugs can affect behavior by interfering with any part of synaptic transmission. It could interfere with the synthesis of neurotransmitters, their storage, the release of neurotransmitters into the synapse. It could interrupt the reuptake process or even the receptivity of postsynaptic receptors. Interrupting synaptic transmission in any of these ways can often have predictable effects on behavior. I've mentioned one type of neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. And in fact, what I'm asking you to do right now is to learn the names of some neurotransmitters. You'll be reading about them in your textbook, but you don't have to memorize the function of every neurotransmitter. At this point, just learn the names of a few of these. Acetylcholine, dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, glutamate, GABA, and there are many, many other types of neurotransmitters, but these are some of the most important ones, the most well-known, well-researched neurotransmitters. And at this point, all you need to do is identify that, yes, these are neurotransmitters.